April 1st. Look at God. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Black Girl Charms. I am Christina Yang in season two, episode four. <sighs> but God is watching over me. And I'm joined by my co host. No. Just no. <laughs> season three, episode 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Like, we almost here. And. I hate it. I, I I really don't want to do it. I didn't want to do it either, but we hadn't done it in two weeks due to like a whole bunch of shit. I know. Yo, y'all should like tell Jet Blue if y'all really mad, complain to Jet Blue because they ain't want me to come back. They said <laughs> you will stay in Georgia. I was gonna text you when you came back and I was like, she don't want to record. <laughs> she needs a she needs to to chill out a little bit. She don't she don't want to <laughs> No, <laughs> I got back in my house at like 2 a.m. No, sorry, 2 p.m. By like 2.30, I had a little snack. By 3 o'clock, I was in my bed taking a nap. Mm, naps. Yeah. Naps. Naps sound so good. I had a nap today. Mm. I had to listen to that child cry 45 minutes. Oh, we had yeah. to soothe yourself. <laughs> we had to soothe yourself. Well, he does this thing now where he wants his cup in the bed with him and he threw it at me he chucked that shit at me <laughs> so I was like and I left <laughs> so he proceeds to scream at me for 40 minutes and I was like take your cup back go to sleep I'm gonna get back the cup and go to sleep <laughs> I mean I don't know no blankets no pillows or literal he's, abuse he's not for a bedtime he's not too bad he'll cry a little bit cause I try to sync up bedtime with aww it's almost time to go. <laughs> but Chris, let's remember what you did today. And I'd be like, night, night. He'd be like, no. Nah. Oh, no, night, night. No, night, night. Back <laughs> on the bed, he goes, night, night, mommy. And he goes, sleep. So I haven't hit the no pillows, no blankets yet. <laughs> um, my nephew, who is five, and I can sleep in the same size bed with no issue. I am a tiny person. <laughs> a tiny person. But he's always like, Auntie, sleep with me. That's his mm -hmm. way of protesting, going to bed. But like, all right, dog, let's go to sleep. And the last night he fell asleep braiding my hair. Like he literally fell asleep mid-braid. And I was like, aww. Mm, nah. Because look, bedtime started at 8. And it's 845. No, I can't. I'll do that. Night, night. I don't do the sleep. You come in my bed, I'm waiting for you to fall asleep, and I'll put you right back in bed. <laughs> I don't do no, no. Mm. Plus, they wake up before 6 a.m. or at 6 a.m. and climb in the bed with you for, like, morning cuddles. And as an auntie, my heart was just like, oh, my God, this is so amazing. You just want to cuddle with me? But, like, as a person who hates mornings and needs three hours to wake up what the fuck are you doing mm -mm. Aiden did that a couple of times it's morning time and i went right to this one kmart was still a thing uh right to kmart and bought some blackout curtains you will never know this one he's like it's morning time the sun is out mommy it's 5 35 in the morning absolutely not i put a black curtain with the quick with the quickness <laughs> When there is a will, there is a way. Absolutely not. It's get out of my face. Get out of my face. This one trying to open up doors now and everything like that. So now we got to put, <laughs> once he gets a little bit like taller, I got to do like the door handle locks. Mm -hmm. And we have to try to find like how to block the stairs for when he gets out. Of Cause I, he's starting to hang off his. You got, to oh, you said Tommy Pickles. Okay. Yeah. Well, I told you a couple weeks ago, I found him on the floor. <laughs> he was asleep <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that I mean, that's really everything. I haven't really done much. I have finally, guys. I'm out of the underdark. I'm I'm solidly in Act Two. Then I started dying and didn't know why, so I took a break. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in Act Two, it's been what six months, two kids. It's it's a lot, but I I am in Act Two. It's been ninety hours. <laughs> Honestly, it probably hasn't been that long, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but <laughs> the following sentence is probably going to sound the same way to you. 
I am 45 minutes into Madam Web and guys why because you it's a when when the the star is telling you <laughs> what a horrible movie it is that's my cue to never watch that to never watch it like all right first of all Mike Epps is in this movie why did we have like where is he exactly nobody even talks about that part but anyway about 15 minutes into the movie, the, I'm about to say Dakota Fanning. Madam Webb is depressed. And next thing you know, she's in Grand Central Station. And then all these other bitches are in Grand Central Station. And it's like, when did we all decide to go to Grand Central Station? I don't, what did I miss? What's going on? I'm so confused. Is it a Fox and, Sony production? <laughs> Who produced it? Sony? Fox? Yes, yeah, Sony. After my husband dragged me to go see Morpheus, Mobius, whatever that movie was, it was horrible. Every I think it is by the same people though. <laughs> They're um, gonna tell me it wasn't that bad of a movie. Get out of my face. <laughs> Get out of my I face. I will say this isn't even a spoiler. Uh Homegirl is at a baby shower. Uh it's Peter Parker's parents. Oh my god. It's Peter Parker's mom's baby shower and they ask her, like, oh, what about your mom? What's she up to? And she's just like, it's a funny story. She died in childbirth with me. <laughs> and <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with people? The way she delivered it, that's the kind of humor I want to see in my Marvel movies. <laughs> that's the kind of humor. Because, like, her line delivery, uh, perfect. I don't know, man. I don't know. I did read this really, it was horrible, but I couldn't put it down. It was called, it was one of those, like, book talks where they put, like, a half a chapter on the page. And you're like, oh, this is really good. It was so bad. But I couldn't put it down. But it was one of the worst books I've ever read. Like, but I Our couldn't put it down. Our book talks are completely different because you have that. And the one I have is this little girl is watching her sister go through an eating disorder. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I see. It's like a comic. Yes. I saw it this morning. I saw it this morning. Oh, I didn't see that. Again. I am Christina Yang, season two, episode four. All right. I, I don't know what that means, but but the people who know know. Okay, J Lo. You know, like my hair, right? <laughs> my hair brings me back when I was running with my woes <laughs> on the block, and I was like, "Hey, Poppy." So I love how we're so trying to avoid going through this because <laughs> Pen Affleck. They call him Penn Affleck. It's kind of smooth, though. That's kind of smooth. That man always looks so tired. Dude, just, just tired. He is always looking at her like, is it worth it? I should have stayed with my it? mistress. Is it worth it? I should have just... Think about it. You came from, like, Jennifer Gar... Like... No, don't, don't say nothing. Her daddy just died on Saturday about Jennifer Gardner. Who, Jennifer so we going to pass past her. No, oh. all I was saying is she bakes bread. She was she tell you how to uh how to motivate your life and meditate and all this stuff on TikTok and then you got this weird <laughs> I know it's every single moment of his life he's like, "Why did I have an addiction? Why?" <laughs> no, cuz I have not watched the documentary because that secondhand cringe. The same reason why oh, I, I won't the reason why I won't watch the Gerard Carmichael um, clip, I will not watch that. Every no, I just, my secondhand embarrassment will stop me from listening to Tyler the Creator. I like I I just like you can't call me a stupid bitch. I mean, Tyler the Creator has just been weird. Like I remember Tyler the Creator when he was really really weird doing those weird demonic shit. And I've never moved past that, so I wouldn't watch it anyway. No, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm like, I would just always associate Tyler the Creator with being called a stupid bitch 
on that like hurtful of a level and that is why i could like no i he said lo- no <laughs> no the last thing i saw gerard carmichael in was poor things and that's how i want to remember him leave me alone leave me out of it i do i do it in my fastest right and i do because i'm talking about cringe i want to give a shout out she probably don't listen but i want to give a shout out to i'm probably destroying her name Ole Yami. Ole Yami. Oh. Oh. Eric Adams. Who single handedly dragged that man to the point where he was stuttering. On on Good Friday, nonetheless. On Good Friday. Thank you. We appreciate it. Mm. (laughs) Single, single handedly. That man was stuttering. Just the misogyny was just pouring out of his, like, Fours and his orifice. It was just, oh, it was great. If y'all vote him back in and get him a fuck y'all up. As a New Yorker, I feel like we forget <laughs> that the options were him <laughs> and a dude who was like, if they let them out of Rikers, they're going to come to the Upper East Side and start robbing y'all. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I feel it was like the lesser of two evils, but either way, here we are because it's the same fucking evil. Like, nobody ever brings that point up. Like, remember who, yo, this man was. Well, was there a black girl that was also in the race? I remember her. I remember her name. You remember them dudes who be on the train that wear the red and white and be like, not at our trains, bucko. They lead her, I believe. <laughs> Was the one <laughs> that was running against Eric Adams. <laughs> and yo, he gonna come back. He oh this motherfucker gonna come back. Like, oh, y'all don't know like me. And you see how the trees got worse under my watch. Like <laughs> Yeah, D E and I. I oh. oh gosh. That is a yo, that is a deep New York cut, like only your real New Yorker remember them people or the train with the red and white. I'm done with you. Let's, let's, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I'm done. God. Okay. Mm. All right. Did you even you got... brand the podcast? Can we brand it? Yeah. I said, you know, this is Black Girl Charms. I didn't say this is a Charms rewatch podcast with two, two Black, Black Girls. girls. <laughs> <laughs> but, I did say I was Christina Yang in season two, okay, I episode just, four. I, ju- I just making sure. I just making sure. All right, y'all. Right. It's gonna be quick. Yo, as an animal lover, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna say this. It? Shannon got to pick what bitch she wanted to be, and that's what she picked, and that's what she saw herself as. And you know what, girl? If you like it, I love it. You didn't like the husky with the blue eyes? No, I did. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's how you do it. You know? Oh, you, you know said what? You like it. I love it. Like, you right. You, you know, you know what? I caught what I said afterwards, girl. I love that for you. <laughs> this is a <laughs> <It's> better. <laughs> this is a later. What is this? Monday? God, what day is it? Mm. Emotionally, I'm, I don't know what day it is. Mentally, whatever. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, it's late, so it's cool Why bananas. Be here? <laughs> we are up to season three, episode twenty-one. Look who's barking. The original air date is May tenth, two thousand and one. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> because we're only so far away from that. I will never release that audio or that video if it's not already available. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the writers this week are Monica, Allison, and Curtis, all names you've heard before. Uh, <laughs> John Baring, his full credits are in season one, episode 16, which proves it anyway. Oh, blue proof. The guest star this week is Matt Batataglia as cute guy. He don't even have a name. It's- Cute guy. All right, whatever. 90 acting credits, including 911, The Resident, and Criminal Minds. 
Joey Tata as inspector RIP passed away in 2022. 90 credits, including 90210 and Magnum PI. Dorinda Moore as Banshee, 13 acting credits, including Sam and Cat. Ooh, girl. <sighs> Quiet on the set. Ooh. Damn. Mm. You see how the, everything just ties together? God damn. Um, American Crime Story Impeachment. Um, Jack R. Orend as The Alchemist, 35 credits, including Casino and ER. And Ashley Tinsdale, my doppelganger per my damn students. Ashley Tinsdale, you don't know me, but when I see you, when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you. Anyway. Tinsdale, that's wild. My students used to be like, Miss Ray, you look like Sharpay. And I was like, are y'all doing this because it rhymes? And they were like, nah, you legitimately look like her. Well, somebody told me that my doppelganger was Allegra from Allegra's with the Bells. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to take that as a compliment because Allegra had them bops. <laughs> but don't you know <laughs> Nobody had a name this episode. Ashley Tisdale was runaway teen. Like she Kiki Palmer. <laughs> I'm, I'm so mad. They were great. Run. Y'all need to go up back and check up on her. She don't know the hell she is in San Francisco. I, I'm so confused. Remember last week when we were like, oh, they villains? They villains. I mean, we know that. We know that. I can um, bring him back. I was dead. I was dead. <laughs> um, on TikTok, because that's where I literally, like, Instagram is there, but Instagram is Instagram. Oh, well, mm -hmm. there's my earring. Um, because okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackie Christie. I'm a boss. <sighs> You're losing it. We're not even like a half hour in. And we're just... No, because that is a callback to Basketball Wives when Jackie Christie's diamond fell out her ring. You know? Ha ha ha. ha oh, I remember ha, that. Ha ha. See, because my earring fell. Yeah. You took it really bad. <laughs> Yo, I'm off my meds. I got to get them back. <laughs> So that may be it too. Who knows? Um, <laughs> the trivia this week at a 2013 con, Shannon Doherty stated, like I said earlier, that he gave her the option of what breed she would be. And that's what she chose. Shannon and Joe E. Tata were on 90210 together. He was her boss at the Peach Pit. The title refers to Look Who's Talking, one of my favorite movies. Um, and the reason why she was a dog this episode is because she's directing next week's episode. And she need to prepare for that. Don't look at me like that. All right. The music we heard in the episode is Give Me a Reason and Breathless by The Coors. The synopsis this week is, while the Chalmers are hunting a demon, they inadvertently turn Prue into a Siberian husky with their wayward spell. Meanwhile, Cole seeks an alchemist's help in removing the human side of his soul. That doesn't make any sense. I guess. That, was oh. like, that was like two pieces. That was like two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I guess. Whatever. The DVD synopsis is Prue was transformed into a dog to help track down a banshee demon. That's redundant. Uh, but when the demon attacks Phoebe, Cole must save her. That's not necessarily well, he true, but I see how we got here. <sighs> okay. I just feel like this entire episode, they were rewriting history and... This is why I hate that we don't have a consistent writer throughout the series. But anyway, okay. our synopsis is Phoebe adds a page of about Cole's human form to the Book of Shadows alongside the existing page with about Balthazar. 
Prue tries to comfort her sister about her love life. Piper struggles with her new power, seemingly causing the neighborhood dogs to go crazy and Kit to be disturbed. Damn, finally we see Kit. <clears throat> Meanwhile, there's he was a man. Like, Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, a man is grie- grieving his deceased wife. His dog starts barking. The wall starts shaking. A banshee, well, sorry, a white haired female, it's a banshee, enters through the window screaming, which makes no sense because why are you covering your eyes when it's your ears? Anyway, um, he was covering the eyes because he started to bleed. But so he was feeling that, like, you know, like. If you've ever been like really loud situations, sometimes your eyes start to hurt. So it was so bad, his eyes started to bleed. That's why he was covering his eyes. I mean, because I guess you can't do both. I guess. The man dies in agony as her scream bursts the, the blood vessels in his eyes. Prue tells Phoebe about a man's death and her premonition of a young woman dying the same way. Oh, sorry. It triggers uh, Phoebe to have a premonition of a girl dying the same way. They suspect Cole, which makes no fucking sense. But, you know, when you hate a man, you hate a man. But the sp- spell to summon him fails, and it pisses him off. <laughs> Yoga and Leo fail to help Piper control her powers. Meanwhile, Prue and Phoebe go to the scene of the man's death. Police suspect murder. Phoebe admits that her and Prue are witches, which is like, girl, next week, hello. That inspector got a lot to say. Oh, sorry. Prue has a thousand emotions because, girl, why are you telling this man our whole life story? Confirms the death was supernatural. <clears throat> Cole goes to the alchemist. They finally get on the Banshee's trail. Da 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 da. Cast a spell. Prue turns into a dog. Hilarity ensues. They located the fake banshee, but Phoebe turns into a banshee, and then Piper's like, oh my god, I have the power all along. I don't need my sisters. I don't need my man, but I do need Phoebe's man to help my sister not be a witch. They all come together. Phoebe's about to, like, murk Cole. Cole's like, nah, I gotta turn into Balthazar and then murk this bitch, but I can't. Damn it, Phoebe, I love you. <laughs> that was the best part. <clears throat> he had that his hands was... around her throat. And he was like, don't make me kill you. And I was like, oh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that post, I did it for you. The, uh, <laughs> what's your wildest hear me out? I did that for you. That was all you, baby. Um, Did you see the TikTok where the girl's like, she has uh, a tattoo in her chin, and then everybody was like, Why are you tattooing your chin? And she like leans back and it says, Choke me. And I was like, ah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, that was the I'm, best part. That but was I'm part black, so you know, minutes. you can't do stuff like that. No, no, we'd have to do yeah. a foundation all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so. They reaffirm they love for each other. Piper is like, I'm every woman. It's all in me. Prue goes out with a guy who like hit her when she was a dog because you know. He but that don't make no lot. sense. Where is he not like? Where's the dog? When she calls him from the number, <laughs> did he not go check to make sure the dog was okay? I don't. There were so many unanswered <laughs> questions. But he put up flyers to find me. Mm. All right. Yes, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It was it was rough. This this it was rough. I I don't even know where to get started. We could we could start with uh, Piper is blowing shit up stuff. So I, I, I don't care. I said this on Twitter today that I was going to find a clip where we were like Leo could learn some shit from Natalie. Yeah, but that clip. That episode has been archived and it's going to take 12 hours to find it. So I will say it here. <laughs> yeah, it's already in storage. I already requested oh. it. So you know, but whatever. I didn't know they archived stuff. That's so interesting. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Natalie in this situation would have been the best white lighter because Natalie would have Natalie would already known your powers are growing. This is what we need to do. These are the exercises I found. Blah, 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 blah. 
Natalie would have gone to the fucking meetings and figured this shit the fuck out. He was just like, you're a good piper. Good, good piper. <laughs> oh. When he orbed the fuck in and was like, exactly what, what I, I live say. here? What I live... Yo, Focus you don't pay head. no fucking bills. You don't pay no bills. And then at the end of the fucking episode, they still gonna pay for these fucking windows to get repaired. So what good are you? you I am glad... That they brought up the window bill because I was watching this entire episode like, damn, does insurance cover that? Who covers this? That's a lot. And it's not even like regular windows too. It's stained glass windows with the pretty like framing. Oh, oh I was just sitting in the time. That was the, the best part for me. I was like, who is paying for all these windows blowing? <laughs> I was also super confused because at one point in this episode, Banshee Phoebe is literally in their window. Like, hey, y'all. Hey, neighbors. How are you also going at it? Because from the first Banshee, I'm calling 911. Hello? That's, it's wild There's that women nobody. screaming. <laughs> right. That nobody is calling the cops. I said, hey, some weird stuff going on at the Hollywood Manor. No, no. Okay. Hello. Maybe the neighbors are sick of them. Maybe Hello, 911. So I heard one woman screaming and then a lot of glass breaking. And then another woman started screaming and then more glass started breaking. And there's a woman who's literally screaming out the window. Like she's standing in the window screaming. She's not screaming for help, but she's screaming. Come immediately, please. Now I'd be the old woman that I got done to do. So all she do is gossip. <laughs> call the and that man. I don't ever see him go nowhere with no job. He just come in. He don't bring no groceries. And now there's women screaming. I, I think he's beat, beating them. You know, I think his manhood <laughs> has been tested. And he's just beating them. That would be me. He always, <laughs> he always got a toolbox. But nothing ever gets fixed. I'm just telling you, I think the toolbox is just so light. The way he just swings it around, I don't think there's anything in it. I, I just, I don't think he's going to work. I, that's what I think. I think he's just driving their car, but he's not really doing anything. And now there's always screaming at like random hours of the night. And then I hear things crashing over there all the time. I really think he's putting his hands on those poor girls. I'm getting Leo locked up. Leo is getting locked up. Oh man, that's how I know he be dusting people because he's been in that same house since the seventies. He has a file. I would say though, at the beginning, he knew that it was the banshee. I was like, oh, he's doing it. He know everything. And when he was like, oh, I have to go ask the elders, I was a little disappointed. Because at the beginning, I felt like we were moving past. How you know what banshees are, but don't know banshees are former witches? I was like, damn. It is like that, that Reddit, am I the asshole for stealing my like, lab partner's work? I read that. Oh, I see it on TikTok. I guess I'm on TikTok. Either way, that's Leo. It was just so bad. It, it's what Piper and, wanted. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what she wanted. <laughs> because, first of all, this isn't the first person who died. So if you had took your ass to the 8 a.m. staff meeting, you would have known there's a banshee on the fucking loose. You know, I don't even think it's just him. I think the elders are just... You know what? He's a work. I'm saying it's him because he like, this week, oh, we going on the motherfucking honeymoon. We going. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, going. Yeah. He broke the law last week. He broke, that's what I'm saying. He broke bad last week and now, nah, bitch, we going. We are the going. Natalie, the Natalie episode, though, where... They were watching them witches get murked. I wasn't telling nobody. It's the whole organization. It's, it's the whole organization. It's just, it's rotted at the top. Rotted <laughs> at the top. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Hold up. Sorry. Nah. That's all right. Kesha got to come out. Kesha, drop the remix. Drop the remix. I'm going to hear from Kesha. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> I'm just saying. 
from a marketing yeah. point of view, Kesha, it's time, girl. But she can't. You can't. You can't market that song. <laughs> you can't. You marketing the remix. You marketing the remix. Wake up in the morning sing. feeling like like what? Beyonce. Feeling 50 like, like what? Fifty shekel? Like what are we doing? What are we doing? Fifty shekel. Feeling like Andre. Come on. Andre don't do the crap that she do. He over here playing his flute. Um, like and big boys, and big boy is like a grandfather with his owls. With his owls, <laughs> um, twisted out here with the rednecks and the gun lovers. Uh, damn, there ain't nobody. There nobody. You out here, like, you out here like Jack Harlow. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna skip this. That is so, a Spotify question. Nah, that's a Spotify question. Who would you want to see on the catcher remix? <laughs> what name job are we subbing out? No, I'm not doing that. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I, no, no, you lost your fucking mind. You've lost your motherfucking mind. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm just like anyway, anyway. So. Then you have Prue out here being a, a, a hoe as a dog. I mean, dogs are whores. Why he didn't take her to an emergency vet? She could have had internal bleeding. He hit her mad heart. <laughs> it was giving her beer. Bruh. They got the nerve to say that how odors are irresponsible, which they were. She should have had a leash on and a collar and stuff. I get that. But you hit her excuse me just brought her back to your house it's not weird it's weird because well they addressed that they said that like none of the shelters were open when they lost her that's why you take her to an emergency vet so I feel like they were like that's like their umbrella first of all girl this episode is full of potholes and shit that don't make no sense no so sense. why we nitpicking okay all right, so let's get to the main, the um, main plot. <laughs> I thought the banshee was the main plot. Um, well, you, well, you were talking about Piper, not Phoebe. Oh, well, yeah. She's just toxic. Uh-huh. She's just toxic. That's that's just toxic. I mean, I like a little toxic. I do like a little toxic. I feel like outside of his face, what more do you need to add to the Book of Shadows? He you likes know. jazz, long walks on the beach. And the more... This is going to make me sound mad fucked up, but the more I hear about his likes, I'm just like, oh, he just wanted your pussy. He ain't what? never had it put... He ain't never had it put it on him like that before. And You don't think a man can like jazz and long walks on the beach? And like Phoebe Hallowell? She is that free. That's she is second wife. That's who she is. She gives second wife energy, and she gives mistress energy. She don't give second wife energy. And second she wives gave... normally are nah. She gave twenty years. I just found out that my man was cheating on me with this bimbo. Like I said, she's an asshole for telling my. Side piece his wife that this house is about to be mine, and that was a true am I the asshole post. <laughs> That's what she give off. I, I mean, okay, I, I feel just... like I've said all that I can say, right? Like these girls are hard. This, girl, this was a filler episode. This was a filler episode. They're still pining over each other's love. We get that. The choking scene was great for me. And it's, I mean, but like nothing was solved except for the fact that. Phoebe still wants to go after this toxic man. That's that's it. And it doesn't even make any... Okay, they didn't so, even help the innocent. <laughs> they didn't even help the they innocent. Didn't, they didn't help the innocent because then they, they got themselves in trouble. But I guess the innocent doesn't need to be saved technically because Piper blew up the Banshee. I mean, ultimately, yeah, they helped that bitch because you just left like a teenage girl in the alley. Right. Like... We see Daryl in a fucking few episodes. She could have popped up to go save Ashley Tisdale. Daryl is sick of them. Sick. He was like, you want me to put out an APB on a dog? Bitch, what is wrong with you? You already out here telling people that you witches. 
and your ex man was a demon. You think that's good for me? It went from you no. Know, she he be going home and she'd be like, "It's okay, it's all right." I know, honey. Like she went from psychic to witch to demon in ten seconds. And Daryl, that poor man. I it's know. Wild. I know they be in the locker room giggling and they be like, there he is, there he is. <laughs> and the fact that they did that to him, fuck them Hollywells. They're they're villains. Villains. Because they don't call, they don't check up with him. How you doing, Daryl? I made some extra dinner. You want to come pick up some shepherd's pie for you and Sheila? Don't do none of that. Don't do none of that. They didn't even make sure that girl got back home to her mama because that's who she was on the phone with. Like, mommy, I'm scared. Y'all could even send Lee. Right away. <laughs> like, uh, like at least Leo could have orbed her to her mama. At the very least. She had to tell Leo to go at orb to go get her sister. You asking Leo to have the brains to go orb it, and it's it. You're right. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, Leo. This was a horrible, it was cute in certain places. Like, I did that. <laughs> that mean, I did that a couple times. Um, and I mostly came from Prue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other than that, I mean, there was there, there's nothing to say. There's no real overwhelming plot. They still pine for each other. This is the beginning of the next, what, three seasons? Jesus. Not even just, like, <laughs> with the whole Piper's power plot, Let's be honest, Shawty. You the reason why you don't know how to control your powers. Because when she's freaking out about, you know, Phoebe and Prue are super witches. I don't know how to do anything. Yeah, that's right. Like, you just started writing spells with Natalie. They have been witches for three and a half seasons. And the first time you write a spell is when Natalie did that. Not even your man. He should want her to be like the top witch, the top bitch. Yeah. You know what? What am I saying? Because a homosexual don't want his queen to elevate because she gonna realize she need more than him. Ah, 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 ah. Cute to hoteps. I was gonna go on a rant, but I stopped myself. I know. I know. I was waiting. It just it don't make no sense because professionally you sh you should want this for your charge. How the fuck she I only think this is. I just think this is disappointing, right? Because, like, next week, homie's gone. Like, like it's so disappointing. <laughs> it's disappointing to know that that's what we're getting next week. But think about mm -hmm. this in real time. Oh, I would fucking riot. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if I got, like, the That's a Raven about Charmed in real time... I would, there would be so many letters to <laughs> Aaron <Smith. laughs> Oh, man. Uh, but what I was saying is, he he's telling Piper that she's this powerful witch, and it's like, no, she's not. She's never really <laughs> taken the opportunity to really perfect her craft, to learn about her craft, to, to do anything, to figure out, like, once she realized, like, oh, my emotions, okay, uh, freeze, okay, whatever. She was like, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know nothing else about being a witch. All I know is, like, okay, freeze. Bitch, do some, like, you want a little bit of research. You now want to be like, oh, let me do some yoga. And then he gonna lie to her and be like, yeah, you a good witch. No, you not. You not. You've never been a I good witch. I think she's a good witch. She a witch who shows up. Well, then all of them are witches that show up, except for Prue. And she's Paige. the herbalist. Did you see... Did I send it to you? The video? Somebody did like... Um, not like a burn book, but like a scrapbook. And it has yeah. like Prue and the girls in it. And Amber Piper. It's like, she's married. She's married to a white life. Because that was her whole identity. A man. Like, as bad as Phoebe is with trying to change a demon, when she got her degree and she, like, knew it or something, she was good. She, like,
put Cole to the back burner and focus on her career. But Piper really was always like, my man, my man, my, my, my man. I feel like we've had this conversation before. We probably have. Okay. And I would, I, I just think it's, especially watching the episode where her and Graham's were like really tight and Graham showed her how to cook and Graham told all the herbs and stuff. And I'm girl was like, yeah, fuck you. I'm out. Mm-hmm. She didn't want this life. She wanted, she wanted her white picket fence, her 2.5 children, her daughter that she never got. I'm so mad at that. Which, I mean, just the... I'm just going on a runner. Which makes me so mad because the reason, like, oh, Prue died, which is why Piper never got a daughter. Okay, if that's the case, why did the whole... Like, we didn't have to play out the whole C plot anyway. Who cared about the whole C plot? Like, shout out to Coop, but, like, if it wasn't really cold, like we didn't care. Like, ooh, thank you. Y'all gave us this little crumb. I hate it, Coop. Like, why couldn't the sea change? Like when they finally vanquished him. Like he really was her true love. And And she could have moved on from that, right? Just you know, that was her true love. Her true love was psycho and deranged. And that's it. I mean, whose true love ain't a little psycho and deranged? Right, Beauty right, and the Beast. Right, right. I was like, I that's a I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my mind, but here we are. Ooh, Coop got work done. All right. Um Sorry. <laughs> gotcha. Like what I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't. He got divorced last year too. See? What everybody's gonna find their true love. I just I'm trying to think what else happened in this episode. Oh yeah. Nothing because it was boring. The whole thing Sorry. with Raynar, why could like Oh that is he big. That's liter- really big. <laughs> he literally said kill this bitch or your daddy's soul is gone. Why are we not talking about that? <laughs> Cause none of these girls business. They don't. Just the fact that she was able to throw him away so easily, mm-hmm. knowing how hard it was for him to just be there for her and go back to the brotherhood. And she just threw him away. I wouldn't tell you jack shit. I would put a knife in your heart. Step, step. After I watched you kill my brother too, girl, <sighs> some bitches be so selfish. Anyway, um, but yeah, that that really bothered me, and I think that's also why it felt really hard to connect this episode because I don't remember watching. I don't remember like the first time watching that Raynar episode, mm-hmm. but watching it last week and now watching, well, two weeks ago and now watching this, that's a, I mean, that's an easy layup because here we, oh, I mean, technically this should be in two weeks we would make to the episode, but here we are. I mean, we can I, roll right into it. <laughs> but, all right. Cole tells Phoebe the truth. Raynar said, kill this bitch. Or I'm off in your daddy's soul. And he <laughs> did, and he does it. And Phoebe's like, I understand. I get it. Boom, crisis of fate. I understand why he did that, but it's still a witch. That's the better fucking story. Because like she already has that inclination towards evil. So she's like, is that my inclination towards evil? I mean, the past life shit. But is that my inclination towards evil? Or is this... Am I blinded by love or is this just a circumstance that I like, I can truly understand because if it was Graham's soul or Piper's soul or anybody else's soul, remember when I went into the future and killed that baseball player because he raped my friend? So we already know she got that in her. That's the better fucking story. And the setup is in season two. Oh, this is why the show suffers because we don't have consistent writers. Mm-hmm. Because I'm going to change him. Girl, you a charm one. Fuck him. I cringed at that so much. So my, <laughs> I had the same look that Piper did like. Mm. <laughs> oh man he's a guy like that's that's what that sound is meant for he's a guy he's a guy he loves me okay 
and he killed a witch because no. his my friend... toxic self would have probably went back. <laughs> like we we're looking at this right, and we're like older now, but in our twenties, where Phoebe is set up in her twenties. No, nah. you remember that right? In her twenties. I'm sorry. That man put his hands around my throat. I want to say I'm not trying to kill you. He was not being a bitch right now. I called you like, I know he's crazy. And I know he tried to kill me. I'm not going to go that, into... look, he told me he loved me. <laughs> I think, not even I think, I know part of the reason why, like, that, oh, she's 20 shit, don't fucking, like, that don't, what's 20? Because at 17, I was cleaning up crime scenes. Oh, oh. How many times have you and I were supposed to go party? Or ride back together to go party in? And your ass hopped on a different train than I was because you got a text in the middle of the morning. Oh, yeah. I mean, duh. But also, <laughs> also, 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 you, if I am a witch, I'm also going to remember the times when I was 17 years old and had to clean up a crime scene before we That's what they had Leo for. I mean... If Leo ain't good for nothing else. Apparently not, <laughs> because they said we're going to pay somebody else for this fucking glass. I said clean the blood man. I said clean the busted ass windows. Yo. She don't have, her daddy's, her daddy's a bum. Her dad's <laughs> a con artist and a bum. She watched her grandma roll down the stairs and die. Grandma was a rolling stone. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with you. Mom drowned. <laughs> Prue is overly aggressive for no reason, right? Just overly aggressive. No, and you got... she's hyper independent because everybody okay. in their life has failed her. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And you got Piper. You got Piper who is supposed to be the one that has like the most normal of lives with her bum ass husband who is also your white lady. I mean, come on. Who's also bad at his job. Ugh. So what more do you? She has she she don't got nobody she can look towards to. She don't got no female white lady she can talk to. Anytime they make friends with witches, <laughs> they, they die. <laughs> like, this is the no. first person who has told her that he loved her with no strings attached. There's nothing like he would have loved her even if she wasn't a witch. Like who? It is time. Cool. I guess. I mean, they probably would not have intersected because his, mm -hmm. his whole main purpose was to take him out. But when you look at it that way, right? At, oh, and her sisters, when she moved to New York, basically kind of gave up on her, right? She was she was a bum. She was a loser. Uh, all this stuff. Uh, not Piper, because Piper still kept in contact because that's how she got not her. Not Piper. But, right. also, <laughs> she, but also, when she left, she said, I don't, don't know what my... I don't know what my future holds, but I know it ain't here. Bye, hoes. <laughs> Moving train to Georgia. Leaving on the midnight train to Georgia. <laughs> Moving on the midnight train. Moving on the midnight train. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that we can never have a live show because... No. <laughs> It's just gonna be a whole audience of people just starting to sing. It's gonna bust up. We're gonna bust up the electric slide. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna be a whole, a whole room just doing it. You know what's gonna happen? I know exactly how it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna be a Leo plot, and I'm going to be tired of talking about it. So I'm gonna let you handle it. And while you talk, I'm gonna start doing the electric slide. And you're gonna look and be like, really, bitch? I'm just step into it. I'm just step into it. Okay. But anyway, anyway, so I can see why she is hung up on this man. Okay. It's toxic dick. We've all we have nah, all it's well researched toxic dick because he definitely was stalking her. And had, true, true, true. He true. had a dossier on her. <laughs> And her sisters, because he, yeah. again, we said this when he first came on the scene. He researched all three mm -hmm. sisters and was like, that's the easy one. 
So, is he the perfect guy, or did he? Is he Joe for me? He's Joe for me. I mean, he don't kill her just yet. He'll try. I mean, he'll take out his sister. Try to take out his sisters until a little bit later. Because <laughs> Paige don't take no bullshit. <laughs> Oh man. But that, I mean, other than that, I don't have no changes to make except you should have taken her to the emergency vet and not have her on couch drinking. <laughs> so that I was like, oh, poor baby probably got internal bleeding because she, he definitely like knocked her out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poor baby got internal bleeding. As people who have worked at the shelter, we know that they still tie them holes up. Shelter closed at eight, it's 10 o'clock. And there's a dog tied to the gate. Like, I guess here you come. Please don't do that, guys. That fucking sucks. That's <sighs> like just, just don't. But I mean, this was a bummer of an episode. Next episode will be a blast. I hate <laughs> you. And like. <laughs> Not only does Leo suck in this episode <laughs> for, for everything I said, but Prue turns back into a human and is still fucking injured. And he don't even try to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Man, <laughs> sucks. He sucks. Your charge got hit by a car and you not even like, oh, let me check you out. Matter of fact, I know why, because he's scared of her. He gonna call her a Doberman. He was scared like, of any... a dog. Like, right? As if there's anything wrong with a Doberman. I mean, that's you pussy. That's racist. It's like, when he racist, look at him being racist against dogs. Nah, I thought, because Dobermans are gorgeous dogs but they mm -hmm. vicious which mm -hmm. is why batman had them and like i could like if you want to call somebody like a vicious bitch in a nice way a doberman is how you say it you will be here, like i guess like that's right i don't know what a poodle mm -hmm. poodles are nah. vicious bitches no i mean yes a poops a <laughs> chow 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 Chow's are crazy as fuck. As, as an owner of a Chow Chow. <laughs> the motherfuckers are crazy. Yo, I never... Mm. If it's a Chow Chow, I'd rather deal with a St. Bernard before I deal with a Chow Chow. I almost got a St. Bernard. They don't live that long. And you know, Chow Chow's are crazy. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they did their research, they should have called her a Chow Chow. <laughs> I mean, they're not like, they're not considered like super gorgeous as opposed to like a, a Doberman or a Poodle or. But Chow Chows are also like show doggies. If when you like take mm -hmm. care of them, or, like mm -hmm. a well. She's like a well groomed bitch, you know. When's the last time a Chow Chow won a show dog? I mean, it's been a long time since I've been to a show. 2018. Okay, so not that long ago. Oh, actually. And then he, uh, Chow Chow from Otago was named Best of Opposite Sex at the 2023 Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. That's what I'm saying. What does like, that what? mean, Best of Opposite Sex? What does that mean? Oh, you're so cute. Okay, I'm going on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if you're not a dog person, then we just said a whole bunch of shit that has made no sense to you. <laughs> the only thing that made <laughs> sense was Doberman and Batman. <laughs> you might just, be uh, Batman. I'm not Batman. I need to stay off of TikTok for a while. You do. You do. I know. Um, is there anything else that we miss? She gonna fight for her man. That plot hole is there. Piper finally summoned the power in her. I guess. Um, the power of heart. <laughs> I mean, I guess like the only. We see that she finally found her strength because she realized that plan A that we never heard of didn't work. So this is plan B. And she's so assured of herself in plan B working, I guess. Like, they didn't even play that out. He gave her a half-assed pep talk, and then she called her sister's man. 
Why the potion ain't work? Hmm? Why the potion ain't work? Oh, the alchemist. Because remember okay. when they called him the first time and he was like, uh-uh, bitch, don't call for me. They gonna try to kill me. I know that's why they calling me. So he went to the alchemist to be like, hey, yo, help me. They try to kill me. And plus, rid me of this love disease. I mean, I guess. I understand the plot, but also it's really hard to take it seriously when it's like, I need to get rid of this love disease. Take this love out of me. That's what it just feels like. Man, that's hella cheesy. But anyway, I got nothing. What are you rating this episode? A four. A four. Doggy howls. Ow. Oh. <clears throat> um, I'm going to give it like a 4.5. Ten minute kisses, because apparently, like, what is it? Can somebody, anybody? I'm literally going to make this a clip, and I will post okay. it on TikTok and Instagram, and maybe Twitter. Who knows? But can somebody, anybody, please explain somebody, to me somebody the to fascination <laughs> with hearing your sibling make out? Hearing your sibling have sex. Like, what is it? What is it? What is this trope? Where did it come from? Who started it? Why is this a thing? Why are you like, yeah, I was listening to y'all make out for 10 minutes. Because, ooh, I need some... Your sister? Your sister? Your sister. On Sex in the City, when they would watch... Like Carrie's neighbors have sex or Samantha's neighbors have sex. It made sense because it's a neighbor. Whatever. I don't know, y'all. But your sister. And to know that she later on becomes an empath. So she probably has some like a few. Oh, nasty. 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 Really, like the whole trope just makes me really gag. And I don't know why it keeps coming up on this show. I'm going to end it after nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that could be where I end it. <laughs> but, uh, that trouble just makes me so mad. So much as be hoes. Uh, and some hoes listen to their siblings have sex. Wait, what? <laughs> I said and some hoes listen to their siblings have sex. You're right. Nasty! Uh. <laughs>